let's talk about the important sort of landmark muscles of the pelvis. The application that I'm going to use is available to you on whatever app store that you have. You can uh, put it on your phone. It's called Anatomy of the Male Pelvis. I'm just going to walk through some of the important and landmark muscles of the pelvis that you need to know about. Before we do that, I'm just going to quickly add some of the ligaments that you need to know about. The sacrospinous ligament that goes from the sacrum to the ischial spine and the sacrotuberous ligament that goes from the sacrum to the ischial tuberosity. Let's go around to the back and have a look and see where they are. Here's the sacrotuberous ligament right here. I'm going to turn that off just for a second so you can get a better look at the sacrospinous ligament, which is right there. Okay, let's go back around to the front and start adding in some of the muscles. The first muscle that I'm going to put in there is the piriformis muscle. Here's the piriformis muscle right here. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it so that we can get a little bit of a better look at it. You can see that it arises from the sacrum and attaches to the greater trochanter of the femur. We can go around back and have a look at that. Here's the piriformis attaching to the greater trochanter of the femur. Let's go ahead and get rid of our ligaments so we can see the muscle a little, a little bit better. Remember that uh, uh, the piriformis is a very important landmark that the superior gluteal artery comes out above the piriformis muscle and the inferior gluteal artery comes out below the piriformis muscle. The other thing that comes out below the piriformis muscle is the sciatic nerve. Let's go ahead and get rid of those structures and go back around to the front. Okay, what do we want to add next? We want to add the coccygeus muscle. This is the coccygeus muscle right here. You can see it arises from the sacrum. It attaches to the ischial spine. We'll go around back and have a look also. So here's the coccygeus muscle from behind, arising from the sacrum, attaching to the ischial spine. The coccygeus muscle in humans apparently has no actual muscular type function, but I think in dogs it helped to wag the tail. Let's go back around to the front and start adding a couple of other things. We're going to throw in the obturator internus. Here's the obturator internus. The obturator internus sort of fills in on the uh, internal side the uh, obturator foramen. So here's the empty obturator foramen over here on the left, and here's the filled obturator internus, I'm sorry, obturator foramen here with the obturator internus muscle. Let's take another look at that from another couple of angles. Here's the obturator internus muscle. Let's go ahead and go around to the back and see what the obturator internus muscle is doing. And you can see that it attaches to the greater trochanter just like the piriformis muscle did. Both the piriformis and the obturator internus muscles are lateral rotators of the hip. Let's go back around to the front. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a ligament right here, the so-called tendinous arch. The reason that we're going to add that is because the tendinous arch is the point of origin for part of the levator ani. And we're going to go ahead and add two parts of the uh, levator ani here, the iliococcygeus part, which you can see right here. Let's go ahead and have a look from the front. Here's the iliococcygeus portion, and you can see that it arises to a large extent from the tendinous arch, which is sort of a fascial thickening that sits on top of the obturator internus muscle. Here's the pubococcygeus and puborectalis portion of the levator ani, so both the iliococcygeus, pubococcygeus, and puborectalis uh, muscles are all, all make up the levator ani. You can see that there's a hole in the levator ani right here. Obviously, there's some things that need to go through the pelvis to get to the outside world, so here's the rectum going through this hole right here in the uh, levator ani muscle. Thank you very much.